Hey, y'all. How are y'all? So, I decided to do this video because a lot of people were commenting on my Lily Pulitzer dress and my cup the other day on either my Patreon or my other channel. So, I think a lot of people like Lily Pulitzer, so I thought I would do a haul. I got a lot of this stuff for my birthday. A lot of it was on my wish list, so I thought I would definitely share with you guys um, what I got. So a lot of this came from um, my subscribers, so thank you. I've already given y'all shout outs on my vlog, my last vlog, so y'all have to check that out. And I got more things from my wish list, but it was sent anonymously. So whoever sent this last gift that I just received, thank you. Appreciate you. So, um, well, one of the things that was on my list was this folio and you can keep journals, notebooks, um, pens, stickers, and like your little tablet or iPad if you, if you like. I got this. I like this color because it's versatile. It can go from spring, summer to winter, and it's not super light, and so it's not going to stain easily. So I got the navy color. Uh, I forgot the name of this pattern is, but I'm trying to get all stuff kind of close to this color. Um, and so the last box that I received from Amazon from my wish list, I just got this today. And it is the matching planner. So this was sent anonymously. Thank you, whoever sent it. Uh, unless you forgot to put your name on the package, let me know. Okay, so this is a planner. And um, yeah, so this is the Lily Pulitzer planner. Um, it's if y'all don't know the story of Lily Pulitzer, it's kind of interesting. She um, like she married the guy who the Pulitzer Prize is named after. And she lived in Florida in Palm Beach. And she had a little like snow cone stand. And one day she was looking at her apron. And all the juices spilt on her white apron and thought that it would make a lovely pattern. And so she started designing clothing that was based on the stains from her little snow cone business stand. And it, it just evolved into dresses and all sorts of accessories and things like that. So just giving you like a little peek through the cap. Um, it's probably too bright, but it goes in order from the month and the days. It has all the holidays and the dividers are very full of the artwork that um, is very South Florida and tropical, um, preppy kind of um, Southern type of uh, look to it. So uh, I, I tend to like to wear them in the summertime, like the Lily Pulitzer dresses in the springtime, because that's when they're most appropriate, I feel. She does make some, um, she's, she's no longer with us, but she does make, her company does make darker clothing for the winter and like sweaters and things like that too. But most of it is summer and spring clothing. So I also got this phone. Oh, speaking of phones. I also got this phone case that is really pretty. It says make every hour a happy hour. <laughs> but it is a Lily Pulitzer phone case. How are y'all doing this afternoon? I also got, oh, somebody just sent me a cash app. Whoever did that, thank you. Appreciate you. Let me see. Lynn, sprinkle, sprinkle. And I also have this Lily Pulitzer Tech Pocket. It's a little mermaid on the beach with florals. Isn't it pretty? So this um, this is a just a regular phone case that kind of matched the coloring. And I just stuck this on the back. Um of my phone. So those three gifts were um, birthday gifts. Now, okay, so I already opened this one and put the, the case on my phone. So it came in. the boxes are even free. 
Like if you like this artwork, you can even cut this out and like, you know, use it to decorate or frame something. I don't know. Or you can use it. I'm using them on my bookshelves to stack and make like decor. Here's another box that I'm saving because I like the pattern. These actually came in this box. They are Lily Pulitzer earbuds. And this is what they look like. And I've been wearing them so I don't have to hear sports on the TV. I'll just put my earbuds in, listen to some music while I read or, you know, do something else. Um, and the case is so, so cute. It has a little charger port. And it, the cord that came with it was pink. So it is so cute. And it's so, like, convenient to, you know, stick in your pocket or your purse. And, and the box. I saw this over there. Oh my gosh. So here is my water cup. So I'm trying to match. I'm being like all matchy matchy. So <laughs> got my water cup. Y'all know I'm always drinking water. So I have to make sure I have that. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you a few more items that I found. I found if you like, if you don't like wireless ear earbuds or ear pods they do have the ones with wire and I got these um they come in this cute little case I've I've had some of these before but I gave them to my daughter and she used them until they could no longer be used you know kids in their earbuds um and these are not very expensive I got these at I bought these myself before I got my earbuds um or after, I think I was gonna give them to one of the kids, but these are these are only like an eight dollars at Tuesday morning. So if you check out TJ Maxx, Marshall, on like Tuesday morning, they have some Lily Pulitzer stuff sometimes in the tech department or in the um, trinkets department. Um, okay, so I also got a tech ring to stick on the back of your phone by Lily Pulitzer. This is where the price tag was. I got this at Tuesday morning too. So I have switching out my phone cases or I could put this on the Lily Pulitzer phone case that I got in my wish list anonymous gift. So this will probably go on there. And it's gonna be so cute for the summer and spring. I also got another tech pocket. And this is more for summer because it looks like a pink lemon and it's really pretty um so if i you know put this on a different phone case that i get later on maybe if i get a clear one or a pink one then this will definitely be able to go on it i keep my little cards in here like if you uh, need cards for anything or a credit card or something like that that's good for a tech pocket you don't have to dig in your purse all the time so these this actually comes in handy so I've been using this one for the last month and I really like it. Um, okay, I think that is all the Lily Pulitzer stuff that I got for my birthday. I have a bunch of dresses, but they're in my closet and mm, they're kind of like, they're not the newest styles. They're like some of the classic styles or the older styles. I'm really not gonna show those, but y'all probably see me wearing them every now and then, you know, during the spring and summer months, every once in a while. But um, I also received some other stuff in my haul from my wish list. And whoever sent me these pajamas, thank you. Um, there's these, these leopard print, like, oversized PJs that I can wear around the house. Go to bed, do movie night in maybe one night uh, on my Patreon. And then I got some headbands that I had picked out. Um, so a lot of the stuff from my wish list from you guys um, sending me for my birthday. So I'm really enjoying them and I will be wearing them. So I don't know if you got these last gifts, these last gifts because they sent them anonymously. But here are the patterns on the headbands. Since my hair is short, it's, got, it's kind of hard to style, so I tend to wear a lot of headbands now. Um, so uh, these are going to be cute for, these are these are more for like fall and winter. And these could be more for summer. 
it's kind of like a Burberry print and then a hound's teeth and then like a tweed look. But they're just regular fabric. So, you know, so cute. I want to see what one looks like. Right now, I just have on this little cute blue silky one. But cute with like a white, a white button down or a white top. Or a black top, I don't know. So, um, black and white, but on. All these are from Amazon. So, because you know, I made the Amazon wish list. So, all of this stuff you can get on Amazon. I might make a, I might go through all the things that I have that I got for my birthday and put them in a list and uh, link it for you guys later on in the permanent comment section later or in the description bar too. Okay, I also put some stickers on my wish list with teacups and teapots and stuff like that so I can decorate my planner or just my journal. If y'all are in a journaling group on uh, the Patreon, um, I may I may put some of these in the journaling packs if you guys need the sticker pack. But like, they're just really cute stickers that you can use when you're journaling or Doing your planning and stuff like that. Or if you scrapbook. So I like to do that. <laughs> okay. And then I got these old time rose stickers. And I don't know, these are just very like Victorian looking and very pretty. And so I wanted them for my planner or my journal. They just look, they even look like they smell good. They should smell like rose, but they don't. So I just got some, I guess a little book of rose stickers I can stick in my folio when I wanna do planning or some type of journaling. And then I got the I Love Tea stickers and these are just so cute, look, so girly and dainty. Um, I'll show you some of them. So I got these off of Amazon too. I definitely am gonna try to make a list of all this stuff. So Y'all can check it out on my affiliate links. And then I'll put it there. I might even post it in the community section. Aren't these so cute? You can make your own cards as well with these. Like if you get them blank note cards, you can make your own greeting cards and whatnot, invitations and not, or whatever. But aren't these so darling? Okay. And I think that is all that I want. Yeah, someone says there's something else on the way. I have no idea what it could be, but thank you in advance. I appreciate your hey, I see love, love disciple. Hey, Sprinkles Parental. Are you I see a member, one of the members here? Okay, so as y'all can see, yes, I did gain some weight. I've been I've been happy eating, y'all. <laughs> uh, but I do plan on losing that. I have you know, the kids have been off for spring break. I hadn't been able to go walking. Um, I've been cooking more and making more snacks for you know, tea time and things like that. But um, I'm definitely going to go back on my weight loss journey. So y'all get to be a part of that. Uh, if y'all missed it the first time. Because <laughs> I see a lot of y'all talking about diets in here. So um, definitely um, y'all probably get to see me go a little bit, uh, probably about 10, 15 pounds. Um, which is good. You said stop hard, it's hard to stop eating. Girl, I've been enjoying life too much. I, I need to slow down. <laughs> um, I've been going to the carnival, been making like scones and fresh baked cakes and like just eating like um, like my kids eat. So uh, you, you can't do that when you get past a certain age. So uh, I'm going to have to dial it back. But you know, it's always good. Like, I, I'm glad that I haven't gone up in a size. You know, the thing clothes are stretchy. I've not gone up in any size, so I can still, you know, maintain what I got. <laughs> I'm not going to do no crazy fat diet. I don't do those things. Um, honestly, the reason why is because they are hard to stick to. I just simply changed the amount of calories that I intake and um, increase the amount of activity and water. So 
I do not do fat diets. I do not do all those crazy diets. I just increase activity and decrease calories. That's about it. <laughs> um, so it's very simple. Nothing crazy. Nothing you can't stick to. Okay. Today was supposed to be my first day of my diet. But then, of course, James comes home in the early morning with... Um, I don't know how he got up and went and got donuts before I woke up. But anyway, he came home with a dozen donuts. And so that was not helpful. But yes, definitely starting my diet in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. But... At the same time, I am um, still decorating the house a little bit and, you know, stuff here and there. So that'll keep me busy. I'll probably be uh, also reading a lot. I got a new book. Y'all, I know y'all have I've heard of Paula Sutton and she is on Instagram and she has her um, Instagram account, uh, Hill, House, Hill House Vintage. And I've been reading her book and it's it's so cool how... Like we have a lot of our style of like decorating in common. I like old vintage um, Victorian looking like shabby chic type of decor and, you know, living my best life. And she's like in, um, I think, Norfolk, England. And she has this beautiful country house. And if you follow her on Instagram, she's she like bakes cakes everyday gardens and she like shows you pictures of her um garden and her home decor and things like that so just i just really like looking at her instagram account because it's so it's just so pleasant i guess it's the correct word and it makes you want to go out and put a table in the middle of the garden or the yard and sit out there in a cute dress and be all extra. Okay. This is what I, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> she, uh, I think she used to work in the fashion industry because I'm still reading her book. Yeah. And she moved to the country and started living her best life. Um, have y'all seen her Instagram account? Don't, uh, don't forget to follow her as well in, on Instagram. It's Hill House Vintage. Oh, and she makes like these beautiful cakes and things like that and posts them every day. Mm. Look at a little cute Christmas tree. I love her decor style. It's like very eclectic, vintage, Victorian. Um, yeah, her home was... Um, made uh, built in the um, same the 1800s or something like that and very nice so so y'all get hill house living um you got this at books a million i believe i'm on page 80 so i'm almost halfway through but once you start reading this, it's like you want to take notes and you want to stop and go do. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh, I'm so inspired. I have to go buy some new, you know, vintage pieces today or I have to go thrifting so I can get some cute, um, you know, framed uh, paintings or prints. <laughs> OK. So. Yeah. Like, you know, once time. Oh, I'm trying to read this. Hold on. Once time. <laughs> Your mom showed you my videos. Now you're hooked. But yesterday I caught her FaceTiming a man and he was asking to see her figure. And she showed him he never met him for girl. I told her don't act dusty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when he asked to see her figure, asked to see them figures. You know what I'm saying? Let me see your statement, your bank statement figures before you see this figure. You might not be able to take this figure if you can't afford it, baby. Um... <laughs> That's what I would say. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
you presented your boyfriend to your parents, but your dad is jealous and he treated bad. He treated bad to your boyfriend. Oh, is he jealous because that he make more money? The boyfriend make more money, or he just jealous because he was one of his little girl growing up. I don't know. You said you would tell you gonna tell her she was said. Yeah, I mean it's okay to show them figures if he show his figures, okay. Sign of the bank. Spark sparkle. <laughs> anyway. So okay, oh what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So I have a lot of projects going on right now and there's going to be some cool stuff coming out very soon for you guys. And I hope that you support my endeavors. I'm not going to say what they are yet, but I guess there'll be a surprise. I don't like talking about stuff before it's actually complete and done and ready to go. So I had you guys in mind and I also had, you know, uh, something fun for spring and summertime in mind. And hopefully uh, you guys will like it. Y'all better like it. <laughs> Y'all better like it. Y'all like it, I know. Mm hmm And uh, also, I'm, I'm branching out a little bit with my products. So I'm, I'm trying something new as well. So hopefully y'all will support that as well. Y'all know I have more than one channel, so I kind of try to cater to different um, audiences with a lot of the things that I am you know, coming out with. Um, mm -hmm. I've been also reading other books similar to this, but like more like lifestyle living books. I'm, I'm trying to get into like living my life versus always, you know, trying to continuously, um, quote unquote, level up. I have to, you know, maintain the levels that I'm at and enjoy the levels that I'm at. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's raining outside. Y'all wonder why I have on this rain jacket. I was having my rain boots, and my jeans, but it's going to rain all day. I was out shopping and running errands. So this is why um, I'm looking a little bit outdoorsy. I'll say that outdoorsy. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me read some of these comments here. Anyway, so I don't know if y'all like Lily Pulitzer. Um, you can buy a lot of stuff on Amazon or I put it on my wish list and I got a lot of it for my birthday. So I'm thankful for that. Um, you could also find it a lot in TJ Maxx, Tuesday mornings, Marshalls and things like that. So, then of course, if you live near a Lily Pulitzer store, um, you know, you can check that out too. But my hair, y'all, look how curly it is. Oh. <laughs> I've been wearing it like this in this little cute ball for, for a while. And then like every once in a while, I'll stick on a wig. Like when I want to look glam and do a video and things like that. But today I was like, you know what? It's raining. I have to go soon. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to be me. <laughs> When is the next live on the level up topic? Um, the next level up topic, I let the members choose in a private poll. And I am definitely working on some content for that. And it is also um, going to have something to do with you know, what I'm coming out with next. So y'all got to stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, it's going to be... It's just my opinions and my advice and not something that is written in stone. Okay? So everybody has their own type of advice. Nothing is set in stone. It just was, works for me. This is how I did what I did. And I think a lot of people um, also need to realize that it's going to be different for everyone. And you have to tweak a lot of this advice for your own life. You know, because a lot of people are in different places and what what works for one person may not work for the next person, you know. So, um, and also, I, I need y'all to know that, like, 
when I come on my channel, um, a lot of the times I'm super busy. You know, I have kids, I have businesses that I run. And when I go on my channel, I'm a lot of the times when I have more time, I would take a lot more effort and time to have that really leveled up type of look for you guys. But sometimes I think I just need to come in and make a video and let you guys know what's going on, give you all some updates, say hi. Um, but because right now I'm in um, decorating mode and, you know, get my house together mode. And so I have to choose like, OK, do I not go shopping today and spend an hour in the mirror or do I go get my stuff for my house so that when I sit down, I feel good and I'm glad that I, you know, leveled up my environment. Uh, y'all know what I look like good. Y'all know what I look like bad. Y'all know what I look like in between. So um, when I do pop on here sometimes and I'm doing hauls and things like that, um, definitely do not write down this outfit nor this look to go out on a date with because I sure would. This is my rainy day thrifting outfits. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. You're, you're, you're so bad at decor, love things. Okay. Yeah. I, I get tips and tricks from just looking at magazines and, you know, Pinterest and other people's, um, idea of what decor is. And then I put my own little spin on it. So, um, I think it's fun as well. Like I'm trying to enjoy this level of my life instead of letting it slip away. I really want to make my home the home that I want, you know, by decorating it. So I think that's where I am right now. Um, but if y'all are on the level up journey, if y'all are starting, if y'all are trying to get y'all, you know, life together, get y'all man, get y'all house and stuff like that, it's consistency. That's all I can tell you. You got to stay looking cute and stay, uh, stay out and about. Okay. Somebody going to come up to you. It's only a matter of time. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That's the best thing you can do. I'm trying to tell y'all. I was out every night. I didn't have no kids. I was young. But the more, you know, um, just at different places, of course, not the same place. But the more you, you know, get out there, the more people you meet, the higher your chances are of meeting someone that fits, you know, your list of what you're looking for. Okay, so make sure you just stay consistent. Like, if you're not feeling like things are going your way or the level up ain't working for you, stay consistent. That's the best thing I can tell you. Don't like, don't even go out looking. Just go out for fun, but look good while you're out. And before you know it, you're gonna meet someone. Before you know it, you're gonna be having what you want. Just stay consistent and don't. Um, don't lessen your standards, okay? <sighs> Skincare, okay. wash your face, exfoliate, moisturize, and use my level up cosmetics. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I hope y'all didn't miss that 40% off sale. Uh, if y'all did, here's a coupon code for those who missed the 40% off sales. Um, that's for my level up cosmetics dot US. It's also, also you get 30% um, off of all the stationery too. And I'm going to be uploading more stationery and pins and, and cute accessories and things like that in the very near future. Uh, so y'all can look out for that. I'm expanding my store with more products. So here is my link so y'all go um i can't wait for the new products to come y'all are gonna love them they're very mm, i guess I, I would say fresh they're for fresh face more natural looking fresh face since it is spring and summer you don't need all the heavy thick colors and you know mats because summer and spring is here we want to look juicy and and sparkly and, sh and vibrant like you know fresh fruit right fruit. so that is what I'm going for in my um, new products so y'all are going to get to see 
uh, what I came up with. And I'm also going to be doing like some makeup looks with the products and maybe a giveaway in the Patreon and maybe a giveaway on YouTube. Um, you said, do I still use anti-aging skin products? Mm -mm. Um, well, I've been using the Chanel um, Hydro, Hydro Moisturizer. I think Hydro Moisturizer. Hydro. I did a haul with the Chanel um, Moisturizer that I bought. That's what I've been using. And my last haul for beauty products is the products that I'm actually using right now. Um, do you think 50 plus years men like very skinny girls? I don't know. I mean, as long as you look good and you younger than them, I think they like you anyway. I don't know. Hi, Shira. Are you doing private online consultation? I need any of um, You have to join the Patreon. And there's only five spots available. And um, I think only four of them are taken. So um, you may be able to get one of the spots to be able to get a 15-minute phone call. Each month that you stay signed up to that um, tier, it's called phone call tier. So you have to sign up for the Patreon. Let me see if I can find the link. Definitely um, be able to get a phone call. Let me see if I can find the Patreon link. It's in my description bar. I just want to put it up here for y'all, just in case. But I'm going to be going in a second because I have to go and do right next one or two minutes, but definitely check out the Patreon. Um, there's also a tier lower than that where you get a handwritten letter. So if you write me, give me your address or phone number, if you get the phone call tier, you also get a, um, a letter too. If you just want the letter, you just get the letter. So let me know all your information so that I can write you or send you a letter once you sign up. Okay. Um, and we do movie nights, tea time, the next Thing I'm going to try to do for this Patreon is do like a girls night self-care, like beauty, masks, nails, hair, and stuff like that while we chit chat live. Probably going to be on one of these evenings. Um, I haven't scheduled it yet, but I will let you guys know on YouTube in the community section and maybe on a video if I mention it. And it'll definitely be in the Patreon for tiers two and up. Mm-hmm. What is the favorite videos that I've made? All of them. <laughs> Every video is my favorite video. But I think the most impactful video is uh, one's about controlling your emotion. Yeah, any video that has emotion in the title is going to be a good one. Because a lot of people make their decisions, their long lifetime decisions based on short-term emotions. And that's a no-no. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend watching anything with emotions. Oh, and also, like, let me give you all my book list. There, uh, if you are new and you have not gotten all my books, y'all, I don't know what y'all doing with y'all lives. I don't know. Well, I'm going to give you the first book, and then most of the other books will be suggested to you because <laughs> it's on Amazon. Y'all know how they do. So here's The Wisdom of Sheer Seven, y'all. That book has lots of quotes in it that will keep you on your level up track. You know, just my best sayings. Um, <laughs> my best sayings are in that book my best advice it's like a daily affirmations book but she was seven style and it may not be morally correct to most people but it'll get you where you need to go okay spark sparkle <laughs> I, I don't uh, uh oh person from school um I have been, uh, appreciate that, but I've been really, like, unapologetic for the information and advice that I give because it's my channel, it's my way of thinking, and it's my type of advice, and 
it's, I've, it's very seldom that you see people straddle a fence between trying to be politically correct or sensitive to everyone. Their message ends up getting muddled and they're unable to speak their truth or their opinion. Um, so I tend not to do that. I'm just going to say what I say. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Just like my Instagram post this morning. If y'all, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, it's Sheila71. Go follow me on Instagram. Y'all can watch my latest reel or post or whatever that was. It's hilarious. But um, definitely make sure that you feel that way about your standards. Don't be apologetic for your having standards. That's silly. Like, don't apologize for having your specific standards. That's not your fault. It's their fault. They can't meet them, baby. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay. Um, how to react when you are the rebound? Um, know that you're the rebound and don't expect anything more than just to be a rebound. Like sometimes being a rebound is just as fun as not being a rebound. Honestly, it, it you may have dodged a bullet. <laughs> You know, maybe that was your position to play. And you may have dodged a bullet from not being with that person. I mean, there's a reason why he broke over the last one. And if he's not over them or if he's trying to get over them by you, that's fine. I'm sure we've all had rebounds as well. I just don't feel like I would care <laughs> unless I took the rebound too seriously. I wouldn't care. I'm like, oh, well, on to the next. <laughs> on to the next I mean what can you do big and please please I don't want to be the rebound too late you already rebound please the, uncheck the rebound uh, box no it's too late that's what y'all be it be it and brag about it go ahead especially if he ain't worth bragging about don't tell nobody okay Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm going to see y'all on the next one.